Hello everyone, how was your weekend and welcome back to Game News. We took a small hiatus namely because of CES and Malaysia going through another MCO. We just had to get through other things in the office sorted before we could do recordings again. But we're back and we are here to give you some highlights on what happened last week in the gaming community. But before we get into the video, we here at Build Digital have a game releasing this year. Yes, our very own game, believe it or not, called Square Tro or Square Retro. It is a bullet dodge game for PC for now, but we have plans in the future to release it onto phones. The beta is available on itch.io right now. Although you have to pay, it is an early access and you help support us in what we do. As always, we appreciate your support. So now let's dive into the video. So last week on League of Legends, they added a new champion to their ever-expanding roster, a jungler by the name of Viego the Ruin King in patch 11.2. Although this came out much earlier for people who use the NA client, but for people who use the Garena client, it got updated last week so we get our hands on the new champion and the things that came into this patch. And with that patch, gave some much needed adjustments to items like Kraken Slayer, Tank Mythics and Gale Force patch also brings a couple of big buffs to champions like Dr. Mundo and Senna. But the main highlight of this patch is Viego. Now Viego is a really really fascinating champion and I've had the pleasure of playing him but not as a jungler I played him on the top lane. Now the really cool thing about this champion is his passive which allows you to possess any other champion he kills healing for a portion of your health and gives you access to any of their non-ultimate abilities which is one of the most unique abilities i've seen from any competitive game but hey don't take my word for it if you want to take a look at the full patch notes for yourself and uh the champion spotlight for viego they will both be in the description or at the top info card on the on somewhere on this video probably on the top right now we all know cyberpunk 2077 has not had the greatest launch days and that's putting it very likely <laughs> but recently the game has its 1.1 update which improved a lot of the performance issues and the bugs for the game and the word on the street is that another big update will be coming about two weeks after patch 1.1 now personally i'm very excited about this i love cyberpunk and i really enjoy playing it and i hope these patches really do help the game a lot as it's a beautiful game that a lot of people should experience but what do you guys think about this update if you ever played cyberpunk or you plan on getting it start a conversation down in the comments so we can all discuss about it now on the topic of updates Kenshin impact revealed a trailer showcasing their new 1.3 update which features a new event a new 5 star character named Xiao and a vanilla 5 star character named Ki Quinn. I hope I'm not butchering those names, which you can try and get for yourself. The new event has a Chinese New Year theme to it with a tower defense like game mode. There will also be mini events where players can get a free 4 star character. Alright, so Apex Season 8 comes out on February the 8th with its newest character named Fuse and apparently indie game developer Noah claims that Fuse shares a lot of similar traits to one of their characters named Hunter from Bulletville. However, Noah wasn't that upset about it but instead wanted to seize the opportunity by trying to get a collaboration done with EA and Respawn. They also defended them a little bit by mentioning it's getting harder for hero shooters to come up with newer character designs. Pretty wholesome stuff, not gonna lie. Now moving on to esports news, recently 35, yes 35 Australian CSGO players got banned for betting in matches by eSync, the Esports Integrity Commission. Now the bans are near career ending as they range from 12 to 60 months which is 1 to 5 years of suspension from professional play. Now the list of players banned for betting 
is about 41 players that aren't allowed to compete in official tournaments. About 27 of them got 12 month suspension for betting in matches, while three of them got a 60 month suspension from professional play due to aggravated bets against their own team. Yikes. <laughs> Okay, so according to Gabe Newell, or more commonly known as Gaben, Valve will be announcing some games soon, TM. And quoting Gaben himself, Alex was great to be back doing single player games, created a lot of momentum in the company to do more of that. Although we don't know much of anything else on that, primarily because the interview itself, or the clip itself of him talking about it is about 50 seconds long but if there's any further updates to this story we'll keep you guys updated if any news comes up now for our final piece of news activision has announced that vicarious visions are being put under the umbrella of blizzard entertainment and will be dedicated on working on ongoing and future blizzard projects as stated by an article by pc gamer now, who are Vicarious Visions? Well, Vicarious Visions are the people responsible for the Tony Hawk remakes, Tony Hawk 1 plus 2, and also they've worked on uh, Destiny 2 stuff with Bungie before. Overall, I see this as a pretty good move as most of the things that Vicarious Visions worked on was really thought out and really good. So I see them helping a lot with both Diablo 4 and Borderlands 2. Not Borderlands 2, Overwatch 2. Sorry, my bad. Wrong, ga wrong game company. Well, and that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to leave a like as it does help support the channel and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you still want to watch more videos from us, you can click on one of the videos on the screen right now. But until then, stay home, stay safe, and we'll see you in the next one. See ya.